There are some marvelous inventions in the history of humankind. Can you think of some of your favorite inventions, some of the favorite things that you enjoy that make life so much easier or better? Here at the church, every time we gather, I thank God for this invention right here. The rechargeable battery. As you can imagine, as a church, we go through a lot of batteries. Every time I put on a microphone to project my voice to you, it's through the power of a battery. And we all know how batteries are, right? They start off with a certain energy level, and it gets lower. We recharge it, and it goes down again. We recharge, it goes down. Brothers and sisters, think of those things in your life that are like a battery. Think of how it is that for all these years that you've been alive, your lungs have gone like this, breathing out air and taking it in, breathing out air and taking it in. For all these years that you've been alive, you've been active during the day, and then when your batteries go down, you recharge by going to sleep. We wake up and go through the day, and we sleep. It's cyclical. Sisters and brothers, isn't it true that our emotions can sometimes go like that too? Sometimes we feel really high, and other times we find ourselves a little low. Sometimes we feel joyous and elated and happy in life, and other times it's a little more difficult to see the blue sky. In today's gospel, we have a beautiful story of Jesus recharging his batteries. Mark tells us in the very first chapter of his gospel that Jesus went out to serve people, but then he went alone and prayed. We charged his batteries. He went out and served people during the day. At night in the morning, he withdrew and prayed. Like breathing, like sleeping. There was a pattern to Jesus' life. We call it an active contemplative balance of going out and serving others and then attending to his own spiritual life. How are your spiritual batteries? How are you recharging your own batteries to be able to serve others, which takes energy? We have to find ways, all of us, to recharge the batteries. In today's gospel, we find Jesus helping others to recharge their batteries. Peter's mother-in-law was ill in bed. He lifted her up. The ill came to him. He lifted them up. The possessed came to him. He cast out demons. In today's first reading, Job is not here. Job is here. He's experiencing the lowest moment of his life. His batteries of hope are almost drained. He lost everything. His seven sons, his three daughters, all of his possessions, he finds himself in a very dark place. Sisters and brothers, there are a lot of people in this world today who find themselves in a very dark place. Do we even recognize that? 
Do we open our eyes and our ears to hear their silent pleading? And what are we doing to be the hands and the face and the heart of Christ? Sisters and brothers, as we begin the slide toward Lent, toward those 40 days of withdrawing and being in the desert to replenish our own spiritual batteries, let's recognize those rhythms in life so that we can act when our own batteries are feeling a little low and recharge ourselves, but also that we might open our eyes and our ears and our hearts to help those who need us during these days.